A newly wedded couple, Frederick and Yanni, decide to spend their wedding night in a local hotel, in the Yanni's hometown. On arriving, they meet a mile apart on going in the hotel, colorfully lighted, with a number of people having fun. Fred secured a room, and they checked in. Yanni was pressed, and went to ease herself, while Fred makes an order for drinks, to the reception. It took too long, and the order still never arrived. Fred then decides to go downstairs to get them himself. The moment he steps out of the room, the first thing he sees is surprising, a young schoolgirl below 18, visiting the hotel room of a man in his 60s, though she doesn't look happy. Fred ignores them, and heads to the reception. Upon getting to the reception, Fred meets the hall totally empty and dark, everywhere was already silent within those mere nights, surprised but curious, Fred makes his way through the void, calling out for a staff, but there is no response. He makes his way to the backyard of the hotel, while still calling out for an attendant. Just then, Frederick stumbles on something, he sees a hidden camera footage, displayed in a control room. He identifies his wife in the footage, while she was preparing to sleep in the room in real time. Just then, he is startled by the appearance of the hotel manager that gave him a room earlier. Fred explains that he made another, but hasn't gotten it. The manager responds coldly to him, telling him, it's on its way. Fred, immediately notices that something is terribly wrong, so he flees the scene, rushing back to his wife in the room. The manager knows that, he has seen everything, and immediately sends some men after him. Fred storms into his room, and defends the door for some seconds, before he is overpowered and the men access the room. Fred tries to put up a fight to protect his wife, asking her to run. Yanni finds the space to crawl out of the room, just before Fred was forcefully taken down by the men. Despite Yanni's temporary freedom, it didn't take long before she got struck down and captured as well. After they captured the couple, the management discovered a force code tag, only found with a secret security personnel of the DSS. They are specially trained, to personally drive high-ranked personalities. After series of torture and threat, Fred and Yanni breaks, and tell them everything including whom Frederick drive, the governor himself. Despite this information, the hotel and gang boss, still insisted that the couple be killed, it seems they are into body part business, but it is not clear. The hotel manager brings a different idea, which is adopted. The decide to utilize his driving skills, to deliver an illegal package, to an associate in Pokey, Cross River State, while his wife will be detained, until his mission is successful. Fred is frustrated, but must save his wife, and himself. He didn't need to think too much to accept the deal. If you haven't liked this video, and followed me yet, then you will likely never see the next part. To continue, and also watch other great videos like this, please subscribe to this channel.